I just finished shooting Monday's video and was gonna call it a wrap, but I thought that I would be doing you a serious disservice if I didn't kind of drive one point home on this. Looking at the sheer volume of back and forth with this particular seller, I'm just gonna level with you, was exhausting, as I'm sure at times my staff were feeling as well. For every case study I share like this of a lead that we touched, you know, 50, 60, 70, 100 times, you've got to understand that there are other deals we've touched just as often that have not panned out. And I want to highlight the importance of setting systems, rules, working, and then following them, right? Um, there were several points in this lead back and forth internally with my staff where employees were like, yo, can we just mark this as dead, right? Um, we've reached out to this guy 10, 15 times, haven't heard back. We even tried some stuff internally, like swapping our outbound calling number. Maybe for some reason the guy was dodging our calls and just didn't want to you know, offend us or hurt our feelings or something that he wasn't interested in selling. If we were working our leads based off of how we felt about them, not the systems and policies that we'd established, we would have missed out on this $5,000 payday. So my kind of rule um, internally with our staff that you're free to you know, rip off and, and use as your own is there either has to be an active follow-up sequence, which is something we can talk about in a different video, but basically automatic texts or emails going out. There has to be an open task meaning if the system, our CRM we use, which is Resimply, isn't automatically working the lead for us, that they have a reminder on their calendar to you know, manually call, text, email, basically touch base with that person. Or three, it has to be a dead lead. And the only time we mark something as a dead lead is if they tell us to stop calling them um, or something like a phone number no longer works. Now, a lot of you guys would be like, oh, you know, the phone number's busy or the phone number's not working. Before we'll mark a lead dead due to a bad number, we will skip trace that person, which means we're looking for extra contact info for that person. Uh, we use a tool called uh, Skip Genie, where I think it's like 25 cents a search. Actually, they have an unlimited plan that we pay for now, but we'll go and update our database with, hey, try this new number that popped up for the person before we go ahead and just write it off as a lost cause. So that is the system we use to work our leads. That is how and why we work our leads, um, well, as hard as we do. And I also wanna highlight, like we're not harassing people or badgering people. This guy had picked up and been like, hey, I'm not interested in selling, bam. Dead lead um, basically just gets dispositioned as such. And we're now working on people that are still interested in doing business with us. So just because you haven't got somebody on the phone in a few weeks doesn't mean that it's not still an opportunity or just because they told you, hey, you know, I need to wait a couple weeks to see if this virus thing pans out. If we'd just been like, oh, OK, <laughs> we'll call you after COVID, y'all, we wouldn't have gotten this deal. So don't be soft, work your systems, get out there and honestly do what you set out to do, which for us is making a difference in the communities that we invest in. Be sure to like and subscribe. Talk to you guys next time.